Hello and welcome to MATLAB programming for numerical computations. We are in module 6. In this module we are covering regression and interpolation. In the first lecture of this module we introduced ourselves to regression and interpolation. In this lecture we are going to start off with regression. Specifically we are going to cover linear regression or linear least squares regression. In the previous lecture we tried to fit data y equal to some function of the independent variable x. In that case, the function that we were looking for was y equal to a0 plus a1x, where we were given data of y, x1, y1, x2, y2, and so on up to xn, yn. And the parameters that we wanted to fit were a0 and a1. In that case, we got our a0 and a1 as two unknowns which were expressed in terms of two equations. Two equations in two unknowns were then solved in order to obtain a0 and a1. Now the matrix method is an even more powerful method of doing linear regression and in matrix method we are not just restricted to two variables we can extend it to multiple variables in in this case for example we have four parameters a0 a1 a2 and a3 okay so when we have data in terms of x1 u1 and w1 which are the independent variables and y1 which is the dependent variable uh, so this is the first data point second data point is x2 u2 w2 and y2 and so on up to the nth data point xn un wn and yn in this case we want to have a model fit of the form y equal to a0 plus a1x plus a2u plus a3w in that case we form the matrix which is shown over here okay the model that we see is 1 multiplied by a0 plus x1 multiplied by a1 plus u1 multiplied by a2 plus w1 multiplied by a3. So the first row multiplied by our phi vector is nothing but the right hand side of the equation evaluated at the first data point. Now let us look at the second row. The second row is nothing but 1 multiplied by a0 plus x2 multiplied by a1 plus u2 multiplied by a2 plus w2 multiplied by a3 okay so the second row is nothing but the a0 plus a1x plus a2u plus a3w evaluated at the second data point and so on and so forth okay this we will have as n equations in four unknowns for example, we can have 15 data points to which we want to fit the four parameters. So in this case, we might have n, let's say if n was 15, we will have 15 rows and four columns only. Okay, so this does not have a unique solution. Okay, in that case, we are interested in finding least square solution. We are not going to cover, of course, the way of deriving the least square solution that was covered in computational techniques course, module 5, part 2, the link for which is given over here. We had also shown in this computational techniques course that this least square solution for two variables x and y gives the exact same solution as the one we saw in lecture 6.1, the previous lecture. Okay. So in this case, what we are going to do is if we have just two variables, the, so that means y as a function of x, if we want to say y equal to a0 plus a1x, the first column is going to be 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 and so on. The second column is going to be the data x1, x2 up to xn. That will form our matrix x. Our matrix y is going to be nothing but y1, y2 up to yn and phi is going to be x transpose x, the inverse of that, multiplied by x transpose y. Let's say we wanted to fit a model of the form y equal to a1x plus a2u plus a3w, we did not have this a0, 
okay then this particular column is going to go out and this particular guy is also going to go out so without this column and without a0 we will have x1 a1 a, uh, u1 a2 w1 a3 equal to y1 so if we did not have a0 we would not have this column if we did not have u and w we would not have these two columns if we had a0 plus a1x plus a2u, we did not have w, we would not be having this column, we would not be having a3 either. Okay, so this is very easy to think of how to form this matrix x, how to form this vector y. Okay, and that makes it a very powerful tool in order to do linear least squares. What we are going to do now is to take the same example that we did in lecture 6.1 and solve it using the matrix method of multiple uh, of linear least squares in multiple parameter we will do it for two parameters for now and we will see that this method is easily extendable to multiple parameters let's go to matlab and try to do that okay this was the code that we used in the previous lecture let's just save it multi regression we will just call that okay and we will retain the guys on the top we'll delete this and we will delete the interpolation part okay now let's calculate the linear regression and plot it our matrix x is going to be nothing but 1 1 1 1 is going to be the first column we are going to have n elements in the first column so we need to get this by using the command once n number of rows and single column that's going to be the first column our second column is nothing but our data x so we'll just put this as x over here and that's our capital x our capital y is nothing but small y okay this was what our capital Y is Y1, Y2 up to Yn, which is nothing but the same as the small y. Our phi was nothing but inverse of, let's go back and look at the equation, x transpose multiplied by x. And this is very important. It's not x, x transpose, but it's x transpose multiplied by x, x dash multiplied by x, inverse of that, multiplied by x transpose y multiplied by x transpose sorry multiplied by x transpose multiplied by y we have cleared everything and now let's run this multi regression okay and we see the exact same results as we had seen in lecture 6.1 we see those six data points and this is the best fit line okay let's go back to powerpoint okay so in this lecture, what we have done is we took the same example as lecture 6.1, but used a more powerful matrix based technique for doing linear regression. In the next lecture, we are going to use this method and extend it to a practical problem for finding out parameters for a real case study. That case study will be taken from our 11th uh, grade example of finding the rate of reaction for a given reaction, something that we did in chemistry, uh, chemistry in our 11th and 12th grade. Okay, so this was the example that we used using our uh, linear least -li squares. The other way of doing this is using the MATLAB command LSQ curve fit. LSQ curve fit requires the optimization toolbox. Okay, so let's go to MATLAB and do this. Okay, so function, let's say uh, okay, f val equal to my lin example phi comma x data comma y data. Okay, what is my LSQ curve fit supposed to or the function supposed to uh, return function is going to sub return just y model equal to f of x comma phi 
it is not going to return the Y data and it's not going to return the errors or things like that. It's just going to return the function. So I don't even need Y data over here. It's just X data that it's going to return. So what this is going to return is uh, the function form f of x for all the x data and what was our f of x our f of x was nothing but a0 plus a1x so that's what this guy is going to return so our f f val is going to be phi 1 plus phi 2 multiplied by x data now phi2 is a scalar, phi1 is a scalar. So our scalar phi2 is going to multiply all of the data and our phi1 is also going to add to each and every element of phi2 multiplied by x data. So this is indeed going to be a0 plus a1 multiplied by x. So let's save this as my lin example. Let's go to multilinear regression. Okay and let's say phi equal to my lin example okay oops sorry not my lin example it should be lsq curve fit at x comma x data my lin example x comma x data comma p0 x data and y data so let's say the initial values of parameters were say 1 and 1 x data y data okay that's all I need and let's say using LSQ curve fit. Let's call this as phi1 instead of phi and let me say hold on over here. Okay and plot what I want to plot is is basically just this guy and i will plot this as let's say a dotted line so plot 0.5 to 0 0.5 to 5 phi 1 plus phi 2 multiplied by this by the same guy and dotted uh, let's make this as a green color dotted line okay let's save this and let's clear all close all and let's run multilinear regression okay we have a problem over here okay our x data was not x data was just x so let me just change that y data was just y so let me just change that also okay see what had happened okay i had just blindly gone to our matlab where i had given the syntax for uh, the uh, the overall uh, you know the solution that we wanted to obtain and I had simply copied and pasted over that now X data and Y data is something that is not defined in this code at all the, the, the X data is covered in the vector X the Y data is covered in the vector Y so it has to be the, vec the vectors that were previously defined we don't have to blindly give the same vector name Okay, that's what it is actually complaining it's complaining that this x data is not defined so now let us run multi regression and hopefully this should work okay so it says the local minimum found and let's look at the result okay so this is the red line that was there as before and on top of that red line there is that green line i don't know if you can see this uh, let me line width let me just increase it to 3.0 so that you can see this yeah so now you can see the green line which is on green dotted line which is on top of that red dotted line maybe I'll just make this line a little bit thinner yeah so you can see the red and the green dotted line. 
okay so as we can see this that the two lines are exactly on top of each other that is the red line was nothing but uh, our matrix based method to find the linear regression and the green line was our uh, MATLAB LSQ curve fit based method to find the linear regression okay I'm sorry I actually that's not what we did over here okay let me edit this and now let me run okay okay yeah so that's again what we what we see over here uh, let us convert this into instead of a red color let's change it to a black color line or rather instead of a green color we convert it to a black color line and mark two point zero. okay so now we can see so that's the black dotted line exactly falling on top of the red solid line the red solid line was for the uh, for the straight line that was computed using our matrix method and this one was for the straight line that was computed using the matlab based lsq curve fit let's see the values of phi phi is this and let's see the values of phi 1 which is also exactly the same so so what we have done now in this lecture is to use matlab's method lsq curve fit as well as write our own linear regression code using the matrix method in order to find the value of phi which best fits the model of the form y equal to a0 plus a1x and so on with that i come to the end of this lecture in the next lecture we will take up an example of the rate of rate of reaction and we will show how to use how to first how to convert that rate of reaction problem into a linear regression problem and next we will use the matrix method in order to solve that problem okay so i will see you in lecture 6.3 thank you bye